Joyce Muniz, I am DJ, producer. I have been releasing music on labels like Exploded Records, Jiggler Records. Today I'm going to introduce you the new machine expansion, Timeless Glow. It's actually a new expansion based on house music songs and techno music songs. I'm going to produce a completely new track with these new songs. I found this really amazing synth Base. I think it's a massive. So as you can hear, the kick. The bass, and the bass has a lot of space. Let's feel it. I really like the percussion loops, so I find that one here, it's pretty nice. It plays like shakers and congas. I'm building like this song for a singer. So singers, they always need like melodies and like could be like a chord or synthesizer. So in this case, um, I want to go for a chord. We have like a very heavy bass and it's pretty proper. So for this song, I want to try to get like something more like dreamy and some like higher chords. Of course, if you build like a track, you have to think about the breaks and of course the outro and also like the upgrades after the break, what's come after the break. I still missing like some like a sound that brings like more room. So I have like the first one here. How can I bring that sound in? It's sometimes tricky. I want to show you a little bit. So still, still not enough for me. <laughs> so imagine you have like a break like that. brought like, it's like a percussion sound, which I don't really can recognize, could be also like an analog percussion. So basically the next step, it's for me like keep it jammy and not like looping all the time. I mostly of the time, actually every time, <laughs> I make like patterns. So let's go to the first bank, the drums and the kick bank. So I have like the man. I 
I like to do the patterns and the arrangement um, when I have all the sounds. If I'm 100% sure about the kick, the bass, about the percussions, all like the important sounds, and, and then I start thinking, okay, what is the intro? What's coming first? What's coming next? When is the time that I take the chords a little bit back with some filter so I have like more space for the vocals? So it's it's kind of a puzzle, but basically it's like making a track and thinking about how it sounds when it's done. And like like for me, I've been having been working with many, many vocalists in the last years. The vocals are instruments, so we have to treat them like a instruments. So giving space, mixing well, um, trying to fit in the right moment, and especially like with dance music, sometimes you don't even need a lot of vocals. Sometimes you, like, with one word or just one sentence, you can make a proper track. Basically, what I do if I work with vocalists, I make the idea of the track, so basically the bass, and then I invite people to come down to the studio and then like we start to develop the track with the vocalist. And sometimes I take like some sounds out and you know, it's it's like working with another instrument. Quiet nights, sleepless nights, holding something that you need besides. important to have like all the important banks on the first page because basically you can feel like 16 banks on the machine and in that case for me because I also perform with the machine uh, in the club so for me it's very important to have like all the important banks it's mean like the drum the bass the chord one chord two percussions so everything that I know that I'm gonna uh, use it on the live show to put in the f in the first bank page it's mean like the first page so the reason why it's because it's like look if you have like here the mute button and the select button and you have like bass kick everything like here you can go like FX most of the time I put all this like kind of like FX or even effects always when I 100% sure that I'm going to use that sounds that sound that I choose because um, sometimes it's like really annoying especially like if you jam in because this is the one thing working with the machine you you jam in the same time and at the same time, you are able to, to change everything super fast and, and it's like, you know, you don't have like to pre-record everything again. So that's why like for me, um, my personal way to work with the FX or effects is always in the end. So like when I'm finished, when I'm 100% sure what I'm gonna use, then is the time to put like some effects, some, some FX, some white noises, you know, like these little crispy things that make the tracks a little bit like more brilliant, I would say. 